Welcome to CBS News New York. I'm Chris Raggy. I'm Mary Calvi. We are streaming live at this hour to kick off this year's St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York City. Tens of thousands of people lining Fifth Avenue for the first St. Patrick's Day Parade in two years. Here's a live look at the parade in Midtown. You have plenty of people out there even dealing with the wet weather, but there's cheering, there's waving of the Irish flags as well. That's right. They were excited today. Earlier this morning, thousands of the faithful filled St. Patrick's Cathedral for the St. Patrick's Day Mass. Bishop Robert Brennan of the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Diocese gave the homily in place of Timothy Cardinal Dolan, who's still in St. Louis with his family following the passing of his mother. CBS News' John Diaz is live in Midtown with more on the excitement down there. John, good afternoon. Good morning. <laughs> Good afternoon, Chris. Yeah, plenty of excitement, plenty of noise. Take a look right here. The parade literally just starting a couple of minutes ago. Uh, we were just speaking with the Grand Marshal. Uh, we were trying to get an interview with him, but he had to go. You know, he had a, get, he's a very busy guy here today. But we got people, drummers out here uh, leading the parade, doing so much work. There's so much excitement going on right over here behind me, too. If we could pan over here and show you again, this is all happening right now uh, as we speak. 11 o'clock on the dot, 11.01 now, and they are starting. Uh, people really coming from all over the place for this. Now, this is actually the oldest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world. The oldest and the largest one right here in New York City. It dates back to, listen to this, it dates back to 1762, 14 years before the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Pretty impressive stuff. Um, but if we come on over here, we actually have some spectators out here excited. They're from Long Island, all these ladies over here. Girls, now, so now, why do you guys decide to come out here? We're I'm Irish. I'm from with We're the Irish culture. St. Patty's Day. Yeah. And now the pandemic kind of stopped in the last two years, yeah. right? So now it was first time in person. How do you guys feel about you know being able to celebrate the Irish yeah, culture and heritage? So it's great. It feels really normal. Get yeah. vaccinated. It's it feels good yes, to be It's very people. nice. Yeah. Great. Very nice. Great, guys. Thank you so much. Again, a lot of excitement. You know, people coming from all over. These uh, ladies, they are from Long Island, but we were actually speaking with a couple who came all the way from Cork, Ireland. Uh, you're going to hear from them later on in the broadcast about why exactly they decided to come here. You know, I was speaking to them and I was saying, you know, everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, right? How do you feel about them? And they said, you know, being Irish is kind of a state of mind. You got to be positive, you got to be happy and be excited. That that is what really today is all about, just being excited, uh, which so much negativity going on in the world right now between what's going on with the Ukraine and Russia and also, of course, the pandemic. They said today is a day to just try and relax and enjoy yourselves. But again, take a little look over here. You can see everyone just marching down the parade. This is the start of the route. It started at 11 o'clock, so things are just starting uh, to get moving. Now, in order to keep the tradition alive, though, uh, over the last two years, you know, again, it had to be virtual. It had had to scale it all back uh, because of COVID, but they were able to keep it alive. So they did small amounts of that pr the parade. But this is the first time. And organizers we were speaking with, they were saying that they're hopeful that the return of this in full, you know, this parade is really going to be a good sign of new beginnings for New York City and the entire country. Now, the New York, actually, the New York Army National Guard soldiers, we just saw right up here, they're from the Fighting 69th. And also, that's what they're known as and they have been leading the way. We got bagpipers here. We have people coming from all over the place, really, uh, out here at today's parade. Uh, I mean, what do you guys think? You guys are watching live. How are you guys feeling, Chris and Mary? I know you guys got your green on, too. Uh, they're supporting the Irish. John, you can actually feel some of the energy here in the studio, which is nice. Aside from those young ladies that you just spoke with that are, that are directly to your left, the other people that you've been speaking with that have been arriving, are they just excited to be out there, even though it's a little rainy out there right now, after this two-year hiatus of having virtual parades, to be back out there, to be enjoying the revelry, the excitement? Are you getting that impression from people? Absolutely. You know, uh, we were saying with people, uh, you know, the luck of the Irish maybe not be able to stop the rain, but the luck of the Irish not stopping the pride and everyone feeling coming in out here. I spoke with a couple came all the way from all, all the way from, from Smithtown, Long Island, hopped on the LAWR, came out here and they were just so excited. They were supposed to come two years ago to watch one of their good friends march in the parade. And they were just so excited to actually finally come out here. They said that, you know, Smithtown, Long Island, not too far away. It's not like it's Cork, Ireland, like some other people I was speaking with, but they never have done this before. And when the pandemic stopped and put it on pause, these parades, they said, you know what? 
when the parade starts up again, we're going to come. We're going to make our way out there. We're going to do it. And that's exactly what they did. They were so excited. They said that they were three quarters Irish. So I said, you know, that's pretty good. Being from Long Island, you know, three quarters Irish. They were very proud of it all. And also, Chris and Mary, you know, something else to note is Irish pubs. You know, they were some of the first small businesses to really feel the pain of the pandemic. They closed down uh, really just a couple of days before St. Patrick's Day back in 2020. Some of the busiest days of the year. Uh, but let's take though a look here at the parade. There's so much action going on over here. This is the pipe strum of Bergen County going on right here. Just so much green, so much, you know, energy and positivity. You got so many hats, you have so many Irish flags, just everyone really enjoying themselves and just coming out here practicing, you know, it safely and enjoying it safely. We have some gentlemen kind of stopping people right here. Um, it's just a lot of fun out here happening. Uh, we got some people screaming and whatnot. Just a lot of fun, a lot of positive energy. You know, John, it's been nice to see you not with an umbrella right now because we know you had the umbrella earlier on, but at least the rain is holding off just a little bit. It's holding off a little bit, you know, it has been on and off that rain, uh, but it's not impacting. You see still so many smiling faces, everyone coming out here. Uh, they had their coats on, they had their hats on. Uh, I see a lot of hair that is dyed green, you know, and they're not covering that up with a, with a hood or anything like that. They really want to show their Irish pride here. Again, the biggest and the oldest St. Patrick's Day parade right here in New York City. So what a privilege and an honor to be out here today to see this, you know, I'm Irish. Uh, my family comes from Ireland, so it is just so much pride on this day to have for, you know, your, with, from your ancestors. Well, John, so good to talk to you. So glad to see so many people out after two years yes. of absence. So Enjoy. Tell yeah. them to have fun on our behalf. Yeah, Thanks, John.